hello everyone and welcome to my youtube channel today we are doing four silicone square molds for the coasters and the holder as well so i have pre-mixed my resin already and it's one to one ratio and make sure when you do it you do it for good five to seven minutes so it's when you start mixing part a and part b it will look quite um foggy so you need to make sure you mix it really really well on a side sides as well and it's really mixed all together and i'm going to do today five different colors so i've got uh, five plastic cups and i will just spread my resin for probably same amount of uh, resin in each cup i will leave a slightly more of the clear which actually will be not clear will be a transparent black color gray gray black color and because i've got a holder as well so i need a little bit more extra of transparent color for the base of my holder mold as well so with a uh, today designs is crackling effect some people call it dragon skin and um, sometimes uh, people use a clear for the base color for transparent color i quite like to use a bit of color a bit of pigment in there because sometimes when it's not closing design not closing like a mini middle not closing completely you can see like a round with a see-through color and it's quite nice to have it a bit of pigment in there so what i'm doing now i'm putting just the clear resin to my holder so it will be just the base color and then i will continue with the same colors i will be using for my design design so it will be same pattern as i use on square um, molds will be there as well uh, i will just go quickly with a heat gun as well so make sure all bubbles are gone when you do this do a really good heat uh, don't go too close so you're not gonna burn your silicone mold and not overheat your resin but it's really important to do it because um it's really narrow and deep and sometimes you can't see the bubbles underneath and if you don't use a heat gun or torch um, you can have few bubbles on top sitting on top and it will give you a little like dent in your design which is not a big deal but i prefer just go a few times with a with a heat gun so we are going to start mixing the colors for the first one and it will be as i mentioned black transparent color and it's a black i'm using today a um, black pigment and it's not alcohol ink it's actually liquid pigment it's not really deep color so what i will do i use four drops for now we'll be mixing it and as you can see it's not enough so i have added make sure you do like a really good mixing so uh, i have added a um, few more drops of black because this one you just can't see any color so and i want it to be still transparent but with a little pigment in there so this one is a little bit more better and i yeah uh, when you're checking the colors it's quite nice to drop it on a side of your plastic glass so you can actually see what color will be look what color will be in your mold so for the second one i'm using a mica powder white color and it's actually not just white it's called silver white so it's got really nice shimmery um shimmer effect in there with a the mica powder i i've been stirring it quite quickly make sure when you start stirring the mica start it, it really slow otherwise it can go everywhere 
and then you can when color is all inside already you can give it a good quick quick yeah mix um with mica make sure you do it really really well because if there will be mica powder which haven't been mixed uh, unfortunately it can ruin your design and can just drop on your coasters side and when you turn your designs you will see a bobs of the mica powder so for the third color i'm using a black tint and pigment and it's called jet black so it's quite dark color but um, this color I'm using first time and to be honest I thought it will be more solid color which I was a bit disappointed because um, on advertising they said you just need like one drop and it will be like a really really dark pigment which um, I don't think it's it's still tran transparent color which for this design I wanted to have like a really dark solid black color so what I've done I added few more drops of resin create pigment to give it a bit of more of the pigment and this one is actually working better than the previous one and again make sure you give it a good good mix and again check it on the side of the, your plastic glass so you can actually see the color so i'm just checking make sure this color definitely need to be darker than the first one because first one need to be transparent color and i think i will just add few more drops of black to make sure i'm completely happy with the color and as you can see yes now it's when you see on the side of the plastic glass it's really nice and dark so for the fourth color we are using a white color and um, this is a tint and pigment again and it's called super white and this color is nice and solid i do like this color when you add uh, when you don't want it too white just added a couple of drops and actually it gives like really milky color so it's not like white you know like white white so if you want to add it few more drops or you need like a really white then add a couple of more and it will give you really nice color uh, for my design i don't need it to be really white so i think this is just a perfect and the last one is copper and it's mica powder and i just love this color it's really nice and shimmery and when you mix it you can i just love the way it looks in uh, in design when you mix it with the resin and again i added two spatulas and mixing Again, ignore my video I was mixing mica a bit too quick and sometimes you need to be be careful otherwise it will be it will be everywhere so you start really slow and then you can you can have a go and give it a really really good mix so make sure look at this color I just love it right I think we are all ready so we are going to start uh, pouring our colors and again make sure before you do this i always give it a really good um, good uh, stir before you put in the colors so i'm putting the colors in order i will be putting them and first one we starting with transparent black color I just go over with a little bit more heat in our holder so make sure it's bubble free right so our black transparent color give it a good mix again before you start so make sure all pigment nice and mixed 
with this design you need to be really careful not to drop anywhere because if there will be few drops you can ruin this you can ruin your design by drips and drops everywhere so i normally use a spatula just to stop drips drops and it works quite well so just do little puddles so i will do a uh, square molds first and then i will be finishing a uh, holder second uh, color is mica white color and again give it a really good mix so make sure its powder is all really good mixed in there so i think i've done the first color black i probably needed to put a bit more of the black first but hey ho we'll see what it will look like so white mica quite taken over already but uh, it doesn't mean anything so for the third color is our black and as you can see this now it's really nice and solid color just be careful not to dripping wonderful and the next one is white and again i just put it in the middle try to make it in the middle as again as i said i never done a square mold for dragon skin uh, design so i'm quite intrigued how it will look like and as you can see it's probably the best to do it in the round molds because the way uh, design spreads it automatically make a round so with a square one it will it will need a little bit more color to go in all corners so yeah this is our copper color and i do love how this one is looks right so what I'm going to do now, I'm just using my heat gun to heat a little bit, make sure we are bubble free. As you can see, it helps to spread as well. So you need to go really nice and quick. perfect and for the second layer i will use the color differently so we'll start with a solid black color then a white mica then a cooper then white and then transparent color because i need to finish with a clear transparent so and again same what we've done before starting with a black and try to do it in the middle and a white mica powder and again i said mica give it a really good mix every time before you use it better to be safe than sorry beautiful so now our copper color and i just need to be careful with amount of i use because um i still have got a holder and i need to think about make sure i've got enough of colors for this one as well and sometimes it's quite tricky because you just pouring and think oh it's just enough and then it will be like oopsie daisy i need more color beautiful so we're going with a white one and you see as you can see um, the colors already spreading really nicely and i do like the black corners as you can see on the first mold it gives a bit of pigment on the side and 
oops i've done a bit of drop so I'll just try to a little bit fix it and we're finishing with a black transparent color i do like it to put a bit higher so it really helps to spread the color as you can see so just do it slowly but a bit higher perfect so i've got um uh, enough left for my holder and i'm just going to finish with this one just adding slightly more and then i will be going over with a heat gun again make sure it's all uh, bubble free and with a holder so it's a black color first again black clear transparent one and then i will use a mica white mica and then a black oops make sure you yeah it's a right black <laughs> perfect and after this again white and then a cooper and with the second layer we will be doing same as we done for the square crossers uh, black dark black color first then it will be white color our oh, solid white color not uh, my color and cooper and mica white mica powder and just to finish with a black transparent color sorry you can't see anything behind my hands as you can see it just beautiful the way it starts spreading already and i'm quite intrigued to see how it will look like so just to finish i always go with a heat gun make sure we don't have any bubbles um, do it on a low setting so it's really not spreading your design uh, everywhere so i do normally go over a few times but you can see already how nicely its uh, colors is mixing already and i've got some um some colors left i will just use a small round one more to to use the rest of the colors and again i will probably do same as i've done with other colors so i will do black transparent then a mica mica powder white then um black and white and a cooper as you can see on the video while I'm doing this you can see how um, the square crosses uh, round is already getting smaller and sl smaller so all design pushing to the middle and after cooper again i'm just finishing with a dark black color just 
just need to be careful not to drip. That's it. And mica powder, white color. Then it will be a Cooper. And after this, it will be a uh, white. And to finish with a uh, clear, clear black color. So for this design, I used um, 350 mils of resin. And as you can see, I've got four square molds, holder and plus I've got another round one. So which probably for the next time I could just use um, 300, which will be um, more than enough. But it's quite nice to see the difference because I will have a square ones and around and as i mentioned before i never used uh, square molds for this design so i hope you like my video please like it and subscribe and i will just show you this is after 10 minutes and you can see the design already changing so much and i just love it look at this a mixture of colors and the way it looks i just can't wait for a result and to see what it's gonna be look like tomorrow i think they're mixing really really well i do love it Wonderful. See you in the morning with demolding. Hello everyone. So it's morning and it's time to demold my beautiful coasters and see what we got on another side. So I've done the holder already because as you know it sometimes takes a little bit of time to take it off and I will show you what we've got in there. Ta -da! So I really like how this one comes. Help camera can really show the colors. So it's really nice marbly color. And beautiful side here. On the side and or should we start with the round one so this side I really like the color on this side sometimes um, you prefer one than another side and or you can use both sides but I think with this design this side look amazing as well so let's see what we've got on another side and we just open and let's have a look right so we've got really nice crackling effect really beautiful a little bit of cooper color white mica to cover so we've got a bit of more mica white color here but overall it looks really good. But I do like this color as well. All right, let's see the other ones. So I decided to, one of my friends asked um, to create a square mold with crackling effect. I never tried this before. So for to 
try it and see if it's really possible or not and what will be the result because I know the round one are the best for this one. Again, I really like this side. It's I think it's just beautiful. And let's see what we've got on another side. And oh, that's nice. I do like this one. So as it's square, we've got more frame on the side with the color because as you know, it's uh, with square form, it's needed a bit more extra color to put on the side. But if you look with the round mold, this would be what design would we have, we would have, if we would have a round mold. But I quite like, I really like this really nice ends as well. And yes, really cool. And again, this side is really nice. I haven't decided, I probably will do a uh, silver sides as well on these ones. So I think it will be quite nice combination to go together. So let's see what we've got here. And again, this one is so cool. And let's see. And again, really nice. White color took it over a little bit, so it's a bit of more with the white one. But again, because it's a square mold, I was expecting to have the sides, corners to be a bit more dominant color. And this one is amazing. And another one. Again, beautiful color here. You can see a copper and black, and yeah, just really nice. And again, really nice crackling effect. Hope you can see on the camera. And as I used not clear color in the middle, but um, it was a black but seafood color so really nice and you can't really see the middle and I think it's really nice sometimes when you do just a clear color you can really see if it's not close completely so you can really see the seafood gap which sometimes looks nice but I prefer to have a bit of color in the middle as well and the last one Again, beautiful side here and look at this look at this beauty I do like the square as well and it's quite unique it's different you can see the beautiful colors comes to the ends as well I hope my camera can um, focus and I do love the middle as well it's really nice colors Let's put them together and let's see what we've got. I still think prepare. I quite like this color, but this is just a nice one. So you can actually use both of these ones on the both sides. And look what we've got. Beautiful set. Really beautiful. So we can use this side. I really like how the holder turn up. It's really, really, really nice color. So you can use this side. Oh, you can use this side. And this is just a spare one as a round one. Wonderful. Thank you for watching guys. Please subscribe, like my video and hopefully see you really soon in my next adventure with my creation. Thank you very much. Thumbs up. Stay tuned and see you soon. Bye.